The story of canola oil and how it's come to dominate our diets is one of the craziest stories in American history. For starters, it was used as an engine lubricant before it even entered the human diet. In World War II, it wasn't even edible for human consumption. It wasn't even in our diets during World War II. But it was used to lubricate the engines of ships and other machines at that point. When you have to process the rapeseed, it has to go through about 40 different stages of processing, degumming, bleaching, deodorizing, and using chemical solvents like hexane to turn this into an oil. And rapeseed oil is high in what's called urusic acid. This is toxic to humans in even just small doses. But fast forward to the 1970s, Canada created a different type of rapeseed oil that was low urusic acid. And that's where canola oil gets its name. It stands for Canadian Oil Low Acid. And so right around 1980, because this was high in monounsaturated fats, and now it's low in this toxic urusic acid, it entered its way into the American diet. And so canola oil is very new to the human diet. It's not even 50 years old. Now, there's a lot of health experts out there that will tell you that canola oil is healthy, but this hasn't even been in our diet for a generation.